A welcome to solving general triangles. In the next three video clips, we'll be looking at a popular topic called bearings. In bearings, we'll be looking at how to apply the sine rule, the cosine rule, and possibly Pythagoras theorem in solving problems that will arise in what or will result in triangle. But first, what do we mean by bearings? Well, bearing is just a means of providing or describing direction from one point to another. You can see it as just uh, a coded language when you want to describe the direction of one point from another point. We'll look at two different ways of representing bearings. The first one says that bearing can be what represented simply by measuring an angle clockwisely from the north. What do I mean by this? Take for example that I have this to represent my four cardinal points, north, south, west, and east. That's my north again. In this method, we simply measure all angles taking the north direction, this line here, yeah? the north direction there, as our reference line. For example, if you are told that the bearing, let's say the bearing of P, a particular point, from, should I say, W is, uh, let's say, 150 degrees. What does this mean? If you look at this sentence here, the bearing of P from W, you can change this bearing to the direction of, the direction of P from W, meaning, oh, that right now you are at a place labeled W and you want to set out to locate P and you are told, oh, take the bearing as 150 degrees. How do you interpret this? Let's assume that this point is our W. That's our point W where we are. And we want to locate P. And we are told the bearing is 150 degrees. It simply means starting from the north direction, going clockwisely, measure out 150 approximately as much as you can if you have a compass you can take it full so i go 90 we are told 150 so i have to take another 60 and i say okay 60 more which means let me take that again so about 150 there which means this line this line is the direction that will lead us to to p because that line is what 150 degrees from the north direction 150 degrees from the north direction so drawing the line there that's the 150 degree 150 degrees that's the meaning of measuring the angle clockwisely from the north direction let's look at okay let's look at this we are told you that the bearing of point A from point B is 105 degrees. Now let's, let me show you how this is taken. That's it. Let's look at the sentence. The bearing of point A from, please take note of the word, from, that means that is your starting location or where you are right now. From B is 105. So if we are located at B, and we want to go to A, we are told measure from the north 105 degrees. 
So I start from there and I go 90 plus an extra 15. Of course, 90 plus 15 will give me 105. So the 105 is from here, that way. That way. And then that line is there for the bearing. That is the direction, right, to A. So somewhere along that line is where our A will be located. Let's look at another one. Here we are told that the bearing of point P from Q is 210. Please always take note of the word from. It tells you where you are actually going to measure the bearing. So, of course, what do we do? It's okay. Uh, let's do this on our own first. This is my point Q. So, I can call this Q. And then 210 from Q. So, I'll go from here. Down there is 90. There is 180. That's 90 plus 90. So, I need 30 more. So, I go 30 degrees more. And that gives me 210. So, my line will be somewhere there. Which means my P is going to be somewhere along this line. Sorry about that, please. That's my 210. So my P is going to be somewhere along that line. Let's draw this out neatly. Yes, you can see that there. 210 drawn from the north direction up to the line joining Q and P. And that's 210 degrees. We advance. Now, another way we can represent bearing, you can see what we did here. We said, let's come back, please, that in this case, we simply measure our angle clockwisely from the north direction. Another method we can use, popularly referred to as the compass bearing method or the compass measuring method. Here, we don't just look at the north alone. We are going to consider other parts of what the cardinal points north normally we know you have our north you have the south so this is our line you have the east west and south in this case our bearing will either be northeast northwest southwest southeast that is the angle that will be given to us will never be more than 90 degrees it will just be between there and there or between north and west or probably between south and west or south and east just those four how do we now do this first let's look at this n 50 degrees west what does that imply n 50 degrees west what does this imply it simply means that if i should sketch out my cardinal points i'll look at the north i also look at the west the 50 degrees there is saying 50 degrees west of north please take note not north of west but west of north so from the north i'm going to the west by 50 degrees so i go somewhere beyond 45 degrees and that is the line that's the 50 degrees so the bearing of the point a from b giving us n 50 degrees we said the interpretation means 50 degrees west of north let's see the representation of this that's it there's exactly what we just sketched earlier on this is point B, where we are taking our bearing. We are looking for A, so we go 50 degrees to the west. Because this is the north, and this is the west. Next, we look out this. 20 degrees west of south. 20 degrees west of south. This is south, and that's west. So it means we are going... To the west of south so we're going to the left sort of 20 degrees we know everything is 90 so we'll just take something a little small it's very small angle there and then that's the line because it's a little bit bigger than 20 
Well, that's the direction we are looking for. So let's put that out. The bearing of B from A is S 20 degrees west. So that's the 20 degrees west of south. 20 degrees from A west of south. Next is 35 degrees east of north. We are taking our bearing this time around from Q. So let's see how this is represented. You can see there the bearing is measured from Q. From Q. And it is what? East of north. So we are considering just the north and the east. And we are going 35 degrees to the east, east of north. 35 degrees. And finally, we have here the bearing of points P from Q. How do I represent this again? We are taking it from Q. So that's it. 72 degrees east of Q. Sorry, 72 degrees east of south. So this is the south. We are going towards the east. So we take 72 degrees from here that way. And that line drawn for Q to P is there for the bearing that we are looking for. So that's it for video clip one of bearings. We are solving general triangles. Next, we are, in the next video clip, we will see how we can apply this skill to solve problems that will lead us to having some triangles.